Good morning. We are ready and we are going to burn the circles for the cartouche. I want you to notice as you're watching that I really tend to plant my pinky down and use it to pivot and see what you need to do in order to keep yourself really steady, whether it's to slow your breathing or do something like that. Here goes. So I'm going to get my wood burner out and get it set up. Very, 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 very careful where that tip is. But I'm just going to turn it on and get ready to do that outer circle. Now, depending on your gourd, you might have to turn up a little bit or down a little bit. I'm going to start at around seven right here on my dial. And this one is the Colwood Detailer. I'm going to start around seven. And if this gourd is really, really thick and has a lot of oil in it, it's kind of going to smoke a little bit, steam a little bit. Not too bad. If you've got a lot of that, you're going to need to wear a mask and or head outside. Now, when you head outside, if it's cold out and there's a lot of breeze, then you're you're going to be blowing the heat off of your tip. Today's tip I'm using is just a, I think it's like a, it's called a skew, and it's just one of the ones I started using, so I end up using all the time, and I'm going to test out somewhere that I'm not, not going to be needing. So I think I'll just test out right along here. And I see I need it a little bit warmer, so I'm gonna go to seven and a half, and I'm going to start at the bottom, so that if I wiggle any, it's not noticeable. And then you're going to want to come all the way around. And on this part, you've got to really be just as steady and careful as you can. Okay, it's at a heat I like. Like I said, on the bottom, until I get a little bit warmed up and feel what the scored feels like. The reason you want to start on the bottom is so that you get over your shakes earlier. If you have to pick up and go back down, be really careful. Sometimes the spot where you touch down, if you stay there too long, you will increase the burn at that spot. And I'm not making it out quite as far as I had wanted because it felt like the angle was going to be a little bit too extreme. But as long as I stay round, follow the contours, it should look okay. If you mis make any mistakes here to the inside, that's okay as well because the inside is where your design is going to be and the inside you're going to be removing. So even if you accidentally fall down into there, that's going to be okay. I can hear the unit kind of going rrr, 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 heating up a little bit and cooling down a little bit. So I'm holding my breath. If you feel like somewhere that you dip down too low, you can always go out a little bit. Like here I stopped and I went back and here I stopped and went back and just went out a little bit more because you're going to be carving out the inside of this area. So it's okay if you've got a little something in here and you just move your line out. Like I think right there, it's just a little bit flat and I'm just going to lean the tip out just a little bit. And I'll show you, I don't know if you can see, this is very fine, but right there, I just went outside a little bit. Now that I've got it really well, I'm going to run around a second time because I want it a little bit deeper and a little bit darker. Be really careful on a second time around that you don't jump the line. And if you ask, well, which, which tip is the best for drawing? And which tip is the best for this? Everybody has so many of their own opinions on which tip they like best. So you really just have to start. And I started with one of those 10 or $20 wood burners. Even though it wasn't really expensive, I always thought to myself, well, the way wood burning started was people would use a piece of wood stuck into the fire and pull it out and just use that burning charcoal-y end to draw their designs. And I thought if somebody can use a tool that rudimentary, certainly I can use the $20 burner. I found that I got really good results. The only thing was in order to change tips, I had to wait till it cooled down. Eventually, I did invest in the coal wood and it was not that not that terribly expensive I didn't get a double one or anything like that always always be careful to put that tip and make sure it's not somewhere where it's going to touch you because boy that will hurt but I did finally splurge and treat myself to a, a real wood burner and mine's a little bit unusual these are my tips 
they come off like that. But the pen, this is actually the pen, and the tip comes off up there from here up, comes off. Those are just a little piece like that, so it saves a little bit of space. And they're a little less expensive than having to buy the whole pen every time, and that's why I like this one. But because it comes apart here, if there's a tip that I want that only comes in a whole pen, I can also do that. I've got the best of both worlds. So now I am going to do my other two while you finish up your circle. Good job. You should be very proud if you've gotten this far because burning that circle takes a little bit of strong constitution. At this point, I want you to look at the circle and if you have any errors toward the inside or any errors toward the outside, decide which direction you're going to put the second circle. You might have to adjust things a little bit, which is what we're going to be doing in the next one, plotting that out. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hope you're finding this useful. Subscribe so you get the next episode. Bye.